day three, MB05 2024, Sunday the 31st. <sighs> That's the Premier Inn to the left. Now I'm going over that way. Ooh. There's a guy. With the carpet in the background for Mr. Manning, in the Lord High Constable of England. Every so often you have to try your beer that you haven't had for a long time. Old Speckle 10, now weighing in 4.5%. He chose the wrong time. He chose the wrong time. Malty, rich. Nice bit of finish. It's not bad. B plus on the bit. Yeah, it's not bad. Not great though. I seem to be drinking really slowly. Okay. Flat man, a 4.9%. I've had this before. It's a big plus. Uh, it is very malty. I think it's quite spicy. And it says dry and it is dry. But it's just not really foamy. I think I found it. Yeah. So it's upstairs. Lovely glass. Really nice glass. So the first one is. I need to go back. Western Star, Brown Ale American, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Let's have that. Oh, the floor in Mr. Madden. Mmm, malty, nicely hoppy, spicy, nicely bitter. That's a really good beer, B plus plus. You don't tend to hear the phrase best bitter, that's not what it is. But this is a best bitter, 4.3% north wall, one hot clip. Or from over there. And big quality chocolatey on the aroma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah, yeah. Still, we will share that. Malty, chocolate coffee. Good, nice. That's a bit out. More like a fruit. Who knows? Anyway, works for me. Front runner. Oh, that's front runner. This is a tip that local camera magazine, which is excellent. This is front runner, 4% alcohol by volume, pale ale. Uh, Chapman Festival, group 4. Copy. Copy. Pretty spicy. Big bit of finish. Dog star. Pop kettle. Put some salt here. Four percent alcohol by volume. Pale ale. Juicy, fruity, and a lovely mouthfeel because it has oats. Sure, like. I've got tons of keg, I'm just looking my way through the cask. Well, B plus in the bit in the bit. 3.4. Elements, 4.2% alcohol by volume. And it's gluten free. And speaking of the barman, one of the original brews from 12 years ago. Okay. Pop you. Mmm. 